good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time you're watching me and it's your boy Vic Caesar once again and I'm here as always to answer your questions on from my YouTube comment section and today I'm gonna talk several important questions so stay tuned until the end and before we continue subscribe like the video share and comment you know yeah we are growing we are a big farm and we are heading far so the first person I'll start with today is um, Immaculate Kirabo is saying, Hi Vic, I need your help. I resigned, but still my company is not signing my resignation. I went to Alcohol and they said I go to my PRO to apply for for me. And I went there and my PRO said should wait for my bosses to sign for me. I think... If you don't want the whole process of waiting for your PRO, mostly the PRO, the other new companies you are going to, they may not apply for you if you don't have a, a signed or... But once you have the offer letter and you have the computer card of the companies, you can apply for yourself. Once you have been approved, you can go to your new PRO and tell them I have already been approved, I have finished my notes period and here is the thing. So when are we starting the process for the QID? When am I moving into your new company? So you don't really need a, a signed copy. You can apply by yourself if they are not ready to apply for you if it doesn't have a signature yeah so the next person here is Asad Abbas is saying what about if my company is saying that do it first otherwise I will cancel your RB you know you don't have you are not the one who have the potential to do it first the potential is from uh, Delisa. If you make good follow-ups and you need to really talk nicely, go approach them and try to make follow-ups, then you can be approved. If your boss or your company is saying they will cancel your RB, it's because of course they are jealous. I don't know what's wrong with other people. The next person here is Usman Babake. He's saying, Hey bro, I got the OTP, no other message until now. What will I do? Uh, it means you did not apply for change of employer. It was not successfully submitted. You need to apply again. Or click on the link, check online if it's showing your application is under process or not. If it's not, the link is down below. Just click the link down below. Uh, use your phone number and your QID to check. Okay. If you did all that, you need to follow up on at least a call them and go there personally. Uh -huh. There is Kanan Dalaklisimi Silveraj is saying if I have travel ban due to bank loan, will that affect my sponsor change process? That one I'm not really sure, but yeah, I can't say anything about that. Uh -huh. Brother, I received all ready approval of Adlisa. Uh, but I don't like my work now. It's possible to cancel the Adelisa when I apply in what all documents do I need? Just Google how to cancel Adelisa. My video will come and it will explain everything to you. So, yeah, you don't need too much documents. You just need to write a letter saying you want to cancel the notes period in Arabic. You want to cancel the notes period, attach a screenshot of application or of approval and your scanned copy of QID post site. Thank you. And the other person here is Music Star. Hello brother, I am already resigned on 15th March. My notes period two months. My last working day is 16th May. But my visa transfer process, what time start last working? time start okay after your notes period you are not going to do anything your company or your new company PRO will do everything for you until you get the ID so the only thing that you'll be required to do is to sign your e-contract once your PRO has given it to you you just need to put your signature and make sure you your signature is the same with the one in your current resident permit or in your current QID after that you wait for your ID no problem you don't have to do anything thank you the next person is Jason Penner. He's saying, I currently working now with my new company while waiting for the 
approval. The problem is my ID has already expired and the grace period is finished. My question is, is there a penalty even if it's on process? I'm not sure if there's a penalty if it's on process. I passed through the same case. Uh, my QID expired and yes, I stayed without the QID. I was in my new company without approval. I waited for approval for more than two months. Then I waited for my QID for almost another month. My even my notes period had ended. I was my grace period had ended. I was just saying the over like the penalty days, but I've never received any penalty and yes, I received my ID. So don't worry. As long as you'll be approved, there is no problem. So they already know that you have applied. If it's under progress, they already know that you are in the system. You are not here illegally. So the next person is Kishore. No, Radha Puta is saying, How, Hello, Mr. Victor, please send the email for approval. The email is down below. Just check on this video, the description box. The email is there. Mm -hmm. Then Kishore Kumar is saying, Hi, this is Kishore from Doha. My QID is expired last December 2020. Mine expired also at the same time. The issue, now I don't know about the company details, like location, sponsor name. They have cheated me on me. But now I got a new job with an offer letter. But I need NOC. How can I get the transfer of, to my new company? You need your. You need your. You need what? You need the company computer card. So that's all you need. Check on your contract copy. If you have your original contract copy, you don't need even this NOC. You don't need even for them to sign your resignation. Just apply. If you have the computer card, you have your original contract copy. And yeah, the details of the new company, you can apply without them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey Vic, I received the second message from Adisa, but that's not approval. The message is the same like the one. That one for sure, so many people have been experiencing. I haven't done research on that. Once I do research on that, I will inform you. The next, that's TJ John. Uh, there's Jamal Silverstone is saying, Thumbs up, brother, for the good job. Have an issue. I presented my resignation letter and deal de date. I stopped working, hoping to get approved, but still now didn't get approval message. Only same message under review. I'll do research on that and get back to you, people. Uh huh. There's someone saying, Anwar Sheikh is saying 16008. It's not working. That's the Adlisa man. It's working depending on the time you call them. You're supposed to call the Adlisa number during the operation hours from morning to uh, around 2 p.m. during this corona or 12 noon. Yeah. There is Afaz Udin is saying, Hi brother, before you tell me to follow up email, I already sent my old document Adlisa email, but I didn't get approval. Resend again, send even for, use even Twitter, guys. Follow them on social media, push them, they will finally do that. I think it's all about your effort. Jugar Kishore Star is saying, Bro, I have received two times under review messages on that one. I said I will check on it, and once I get it, I'll tell you guys. Mm -hmm. There's Ahmed. Fahathi is saying, hi bro, I applied on February 15, not coming approval message from our call. Send me there, send an email also, my old company stopped working last month. So, guys, try to make like follow up fiscally to at least maybe this branch or our court branch and see what they will do. Yeah, I think I will stop this one here. And uh, see you on the next video. Subscribe, like, and the boy big season. Peace out.